VX Radio. The past, present, and future. Dear audience, welcome to Paradise Island. I'm Frank Collins on VX Radio Live. And on this new day, we are opening a new topic about the word, friends. What is the difference between friends and best friends? If you are thinking at this moment and wondering about the answer to that, it means that you may have many friends, but not one of them think about you, or you don't have anyone, because you lost everyone on the way. We have the first caller. Adam, you are on VX Radio Live. Hello, Mr. Collins. By the way, this is first time I call on your show. Welcome, Adam. So what is your point of view on the word friends? Well, it's simple. You don't need them. It is just a waste of time and energy. Plus, they always ask for favors and some other things. I understand, but sometime you need to talk to someone about your problems or share your thoughts or may have a good time. Well, Mr. Collins, if I feel like talking to someone, I will call my psychologist. Yes, of course, but it's not the same thing. Plus, they don't come cheap if you know what I mean. Yes, I know. Plus, she is a good listener, not like some of my friends that I had in the past. Oh, so already had friend before, right? Yes, but they were a bunch of losers. When they need you, you have to be there for them. And when you need them, they just say, well, I'm too busy, and we will talk some other time. So, after a while, I just got fed up with all this, and decided that I wanted to be alone. I understand, being alone sometimes, it's really good, but it has limits. Maybe you just had a bad experience. Yes, I did, and it wasn't a good one. But you should have tried to make some new friends. No, I was just happy alone. I have my dog and my own life, and I don't need to waste my time on other people's problems. A dog? Well, he is not going to understand you. No, but at least he is always by my side when I need him. You know what? It's going to get you one day or another. Now, you don't feel it. But maybe later, you will regret not having anybody by your side. What are you trying to prove, Mr. Collins? You think I'm doing the wrong thing here? I am not saying that. But you should have at least tried again because you never know. So, I am doing the wrong thing. You know, you are not better than me, Mr. Collins. Excuse me? You got married two times, and had five kids, and got divorced. I call this insane. Where did you hear that? On your VX radio the other day. I think a lady called on your radio, and she blasted you with information very deeply. Hey. First of all, I don't have kids. And second, I don't know this lady. Plus, this is not correct on your part, Adam. Sorry. Did I hurt your feelings now? Yes, you did, because you are on my radio show, and you just went crazy saying all these nonsense information about me. Well, you also hurt my feelings a few minutes ago. I did not. I just suggested my opinion to you. Just take it or leave it. Please, just watch the way you talk to me. There is no way to talk to people like you. People like me. Can you explain this, Mr. Collins? No, because your brain would not pick up this information. Hey. I have high degree in psychology. Oh yeah. It does not mean anything. This discussion is over Mr. Adam. And I hope you find your way to be more normal. Thank you for calling on VX Radio Live. I know it's hard to make time. We all have busy lives, and I understand, but you'll have to think one day when you get old and your kids has their own lives. So what are you going to do? You will try to make some new friends because you don't have any left and you feel so miserable and lonely. We have the next caller online. Hello, you are on VX Radio Live. Hello, Mr. Frank. Oh, I know this voice. Is this Madam Kendra? Yes, this is correct. I am glad that you remember me. Well, you are not easy to forget. So to continue our subject, what do you think about the word, friends? Congratulations, Mr. Frank. That is a beautiful subject. Thank you, Kendra. Well, I have many good friends since the past several years, and we always call each other every week, plus sometimes we go to downtown to party. Oh yeah, Kendra, I did not know that you are a party girl. I'm sorry, what do you take me for? Oh no, I just said, I did not think that you are this type of girl. What type do you think I am? Don't get mad please, it's just in my head that we're a madam. I mean with class who reads books, or go to movies. Why don't you use your head Mr. Frank? That's what I'm doing. Okay, let's start over please. 
No, I want to continue this subject. Let's leave this for another day, Kendra. So I assume that you have many good friends. Am I right? That is correct. Okay. Are they all girls, or mixed? My friends are mostly men, and just few girls. Wow, Kendra, you surprise me today. You party, and you are more friends with guys. What are you talking about? What do you think I am, Mr. Frank? I am just saying that you are a nice girl. Thank you, but please, do not flirt with me on the radio. Hey, I am not flirting with you, and I have my own girlfriend. And if she is hearing all this at the radio now, she would kill me. Yes, that would be good for you, because you are hitting on Madame Kendra. Oh my gosh, I was not. It was a simple compliment. Let me tell you something, Mr. Frank. I am not easy to get. You will have to work hard for me. I don't, because I am not interested. Please let's get back to the subject, or I have to end this conversation. I really hate you, Mr. Frank. You just started a relationship, and after five minutes, you want to get out of it. I did not start anything to begin with. Okay, Kendra, it's enough for today. Thank you for sharing your experience with us. This is Frank Collins on VX Radio Live.